All right. So you have yeah. exited your spaceship on a mission have. to exterminate the single giant alien spider that has been wreaking havoc across whatever the hell I call this planet. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, you are, of course, El Nub Nub, the Mantis. Yes. And just because we're not doing an actual game, I'm going to bring your cards closer to here so I can actually see them. Yay. Wow. Uh, there's a different grid setting on this map. I forgot about that. There. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, you have exited your spaceship. Yep. And uh, what do you want to do? Uh, how to move. Just, uh, you can move yourself until you get into combat. What? Yeah. No, okay, within walking reason. <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, wh what is combat? Well, I'll tell you when you get into combat. Okay, so you're over oh. here. Yep. Uh, you encounter a rock, <laughs> which seems to be blocking an exit. Um... Or, well, a cave of some sort. Hmm. What do you want to do? How sturdy is this rock? Um, it's kind of cracked. It's a little jagged. It looks like maybe, um... Maybe sort of more of a dried clay than a rock. Hmm. Um, probably... You could probably melt it. Hmm. I roundhouse kick the rock. <laughs> okay. You roundhouse kick the rock. Um... Don't it have cracks a little bit, but doesn't move. I don't have to roll. Oh, okay. Oh, right, you do. You kind of might want to roll as well. I forgot about that. Okay. Just a bit. We'll just roll, just to see if you get a twenty. It's a twelve. It's a okay. Four. It cracks a little bit. It's not moving though. You can use an ability outside of combat. I have heat vision. Oh goodness! <laughs> I have acid. <laughs> okay. Uh, I acid that. Give thing. me a roll to see how <laughs> well you melt, acid. Melt. See how well I acid. I can do this yeah. multiple times. See how well you drop acid. How tripping uh, is that door going to be? 14. That's okay. That's uh, you spit acid at the rock. Uh, the rock melts mm -hmm. a wide enough hole for you to fit through. Okay. Um, fit through. Okay. You go through. In the cave, you discover a, a thing? siphon blade. What does that this mean? This is a melee weapon. It deals three damage and restores one health anytime you hit a target with it. Neat. Um, equip. You don't have to say equip. You already have it. Oh, I would neat. I would have the card, but I don't have that made into a card template yet. So, wow. You have a siphon blade. You'll restore neat. one health every time you attack an enemy, and that is your default melee attack now. Uh, all right. So around the corner, uh, you hear a faint clicking noise, like some sort of large chitinous insect. Oh. Much like yourself. I, um... Hmm. Remember, your mission is to wipe out the giant alien spiders. Mm, yes, um... I, uh... Click back. You click back. Okay, give me your roll to, to see if you speak its language. Hmm. <laughs> See what happens. Five. Um, five. <laughs> you do not speak spider. Okay. Uh, you click, but this only serves to make the clickings coming from around the corner sound slightly angrier and slightly closer. Uh, mm, uh, hmm. Let me see. <laughs> I uh, click again. <laughs> you click again. Okay. Yep. Well, we've already established you can't speak its language. Yeah, but so... I got a seventeen. Uh, a 17. Okay, by sheer luck, you manage to click one of the words of its language. Oh, Unfortunately, good. that word was an insult to its mother. Oh, uh, right. It rounds the corner, and you see just the biggest alien spider you have ever seen in your <laughs> little mantis life. Combat has started. <laughs> okay, so in combat, you may you are given a move and an action. You may move five oh. spaces and then use an action. It doesn't necessarily have to be in that order. Or you can move, uh, let's say, seven spaces but not use an action. And this is turn-based. So you're going to attack, and then the spider's going to attack, and then you're going to attack, and the spider's going to attack. <laughs> okay. Now this spider does, uh, let's say, 
we're we're just gonna say he does one damage because he doesn't have a weapon. Well, wow, that's pretty. But sad. he does have the great eye. Ah, uh, oh, great, great. Okay. okay. So, uh, how much health does this spider have? It has twenty five hit points. Okay. And Wait. So, does using an ability uh, overwrite my attack? Well, you an attack is an action. Okay. So anything that isn't moving is considered an action unless it's talking. All right. If you're like RP talking, then that doesn't count as an action. Unless you're yelling an insult at it or something. Something uh -huh. that could provoke it. <laughs> Which you've already done anyways. So uh. Uh, now, because the spider rounded the corner suddenly, it takes initiative. So it's going to attack first with... Wow. Um, it's going to try and lunge at you. Uh, 14. Spiders. You take one damage. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I use adrenaline on myself. You use adrenaline? Okay, give me a roll. How do I miss? How do I miss that? You, well, you have to roll to see how effective it is. It's not just accuracy. Wow. Seven. Okay, it's all right. Okay. Like, you don't feel inspired or anything. But if you rolled but, a twenty, I would have given you three actions a turn. Let's say oh, let's just go with that. Oh dear. Okay, so you can now take two actions per turn. So Eight. you could say sprint ten seven spaces and then attack, or you could sprint ten spaces and not attack, or you could just attack twice. And do you want to move? Spider goes. I mean, can I do something else now? Yeah, you can move. Or is that? Oh, it gives me a second one already. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, you could move regardless of whether or not you use an ability. You always hmm. get a move. Hmm. So, do you want to move anywhere? Like, um, I want to whack it. Well, I want to like attack it, you know, with my slicey thing. Okay. Uh, so since you have the extra turn, you want to attack with the siphon blade. Yes. Yes. Give me a roll. Um, what? one. Oh my you God. hit yourself with the siphon blade. How do you, you take even two damage. Do that, okay. Let but me look at adrenaline give, here. Wouldn't I give damage? Like, wouldn't I heal myself with my own? Yeah, well, healing? siphon blade does three damage. You took three damage and then healed for one. Okay. <laughs> so you take two damage. This is terrible. Uh, the spider is again going to lunge at you. Let's wow. see. Let's give me a. Let's give myself a roll. <clears throat> twenty. Oh. Natural twenty. You take three damage. Oh. <laughs> this is. The spider is then going to retreat two spaces. Okay. Wh what? Yeah, because it, it. You get a move and an attack. <sighs> okay. So it attacked and then it moved. Um. I move. Yep. To 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 attack it. Yep. And then I attack it. You attack it with 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 my uh, siphon blade. Yep. You could use acid, but okay. Seven. Um, you do two damage. Two what? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I want a twelve or something. Something <laughs> not terrible. And I get two back, or do I get one back? Uh, oh, wait, actually... Yeah, you do get one health back. Okay. And you get another action because of the adrenaline. Oh, neat. Um, I should be keeping track of these turns, but I'm not gonna... Acid! Yeah! Okay. So, you... Okay, See how well acid. I acid. Eight. Uh, eight. Well, you can't get much worse than one damage, which is what it does... So, you deal one damage to the spider. Yay. Okay. Uh, the spider is going to... Uh, I don't have to roll for this. The spider's going to back up. Why? One space. And we're going to roll. And it's is going it... to use the great eye. Oh, good. Uh, four. Mm. Well, I should have rolled after I selected an ability. So, it's going to use the great eye. It's going to disguise... Okay. The spider is going to disguise. Okay. Uh, uh, the spider is now... Uh, hmm. The spider is disguising himself as... Uh, 
let's see. Let's see here. What have we got, even? Uh, the spider has apparently turned into Snagglepuss. The spider is going to disguise himself as a, uh... As a pirate. Oh. Right. Slug's going to disguise himself as a pirate. <laughs> Do I have spider. to roll to see how badly I'm fooled by this? No. Oh. It's just the spider is now a, uh... <laughs> a and the spider... Oh, I forgot to take your, um... Stamina for... Your adrenaline and your acid. Oh, dear. So you've taken four damage. Wait, that takes damage? Yeah, the, uh... The, you see the little cost what? down in the bottom? That damages you? Yeah, that... <laughs> I told you, it draws from a single pool. Your oh, energy oh, and your health are oh. from the same pool. Why isn't it a separate bar? Because what? it's easier. What? Yeah. What? Don't worry, you're not even halfway down yet. <sighs> okay. Okay, and he takes... The spider takes three damage for the disguise. So whenever I'm doing anything... Whenever the spider's taking an action, I have to talk in a ridiculous voice, you know. If I stop doing the voice, the spider turns back into a spider. Mm-hmm. Well. All right. So, you get an action now. Or you get your turn. Um. Hmm. I, um, do one of those. Yep. And then and I stab it. You stab it with the siphon blade. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, a, uh, wow, something. a six. Okay. Um, you deal two damage to it, mm -hmm. and restore one. Okay. Uh, and I uh, stab it again. I can do that With right. Siphon blade. Uh, thirteen. You deal okay. the full three damage and restore one hit point. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Good. Alrighty. And the the spider <laughs> is going to uh is gonna move around behind you oh, and no. the spider is going to use uh, the the great eye. Mm-hmm. The spider uses disarm. Attack the target for two damage, and attempt to knock their weapon out of their hands, preventing them from attacking for one turn. If you roll above 17, you also receive a random loot card. Oh. Okay. Good. So, the spider takes three damage, mm -hmm. and is going to roll to try and prevent you from attacking. What is it, for one turn? Please be a one. Please be a one. Uh, five. Okay. Oh, wow. They. They just hit you for. They just hit you for two damage. They don't actually disarm you. That's pretty bad. Okay. Yeah. Now. The spider is gonna use telepathy. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um. Eleven. Okay. He successfully reads your mind. Um. He is. When you next use a move, uh, he's going to be able to roll to dodge it. Oh, dear. But I do have to ask one thing. What are you thinking right now? What is El Nub Nub the Mantis thinking? Um, I mean, really? Yeah. He, uh, he's thinking about those uh, <laughs> boots. Those boots he saw. Oh. In uh, when he was window shopping the other day, <laughs> and how useless they would be to someone who has claws for feet. Yeah, but he 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 wants them, <laughs> really. Uh, I mean, they're they're like furry on the inside, but you no, know, like hard leather on the outside. <laughs> Are so they, they blue? Look, they look manly. Um, no, they're actually kind of a oh, like a you know. Leather. Ah, so sort of like a brown. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. They're like they're like cowboy esque. 
but like they're, they're like you know they got lights ah yeah <laughs> okay so this the spider is very confused <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the spider doesn't know what's going on okay your turn okay um i take my sword mm -hmm. and i uh Slice the pirate's knee in two. Okay, you slice at his knee. Give me a roll. Uh, 14. Okay, you have sliced the pirate's knee. Not enough to completely cripple him, but enough that he's going to have quite a bit of a limp. All right. Uh, he takes three damage, and you restore one. And you can take another action if you want. Can I, like, move two and then do another action? Does it work like that? Uh, no, you can move again, but you can't take another action. Okay. Um, and then I uh, uh, slice at his knee again because YOLO, basically. Uh, okay. Twelve. Okay. Is it the same knee? Uh, of course, naturally. Okay. So... <laughs> I'm going to say because that's a 12, you're going to do 2 damage, and you're going to restore for 1. Okay. Now, at this point, your adrenaline is sort of starting to wear thin. Oh no. And I think it might wear out in a turn or two. Oh dear. So, the spider <laughs> is... Uh, well, honestly, I think at this point, the spider <laughs> is going to, where is it? Did I summon that? What are you doing? Does it uh, have spider backup? No. no. Okay. Uh, Good. NPC coins. There it is. Um, oh, dear. It has backup. There. The spider's going to break character, so his disguise is going to fade, and he's going to go back to being a spider. Oh, dear. Now, this means that some of the wounds he took to his leg are going to heal slightly. What? But just by one point. So, uh, and then the spider... Now, that, that didn't take an action. That was sort of an anti-action. spider's going to move... Over to here. Yeah. Out of melee range. And he's going to use the great eye. Which, again, I don't need to roll until I've drawn an ability. Uh, oh, power siphon! Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to roll. Okay, 14. Hmm. Um. <laughs> spider dies. <laughs> what? He was on two hit points. Really? <laughs> he was on two hit points, yeah. And wow. uh, Power Siphon costs three. So oh. he dies. Uh, because he would have just restored one hit point, but yeah. he lost three. So, he is now on zero hit points. Uh, the spider is... Well, he actually... He passed out. He's not dead. What? Yeah. Wow. So, combat is technically over. Hmm. Do you want to do anything else as a spider? <clears throat> uh, uh, your I... adrenaline is worn off, by the way. Oh. I uh, approach the spider. Mm -hmm. I look him in the face. <laughs> okay, you... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip the spider back over. You you look the spider in the face. His eyes are sort of in closed. His stupid little spider face. His He's sort of on his back. His legs are sort of starting to curl up. And I stab him in his stupid little spider face. Okay, 11. Uh, you stab the spider in the face. Yeah. And because the spider's not really going to resist, uh, the spider is now dead. Awesome. 
Now, I don't know if you remember when I was talking about the giant alien spiders and their racial passive, Hydra. The spider splits in two. Uh, combat has restarted. <laughs> you may now use adrenaline again. <laughs> How much health do those have? Uh, they have... Um, I'll tell you what, i got to modify this. Oh, dear. Uh, they have... 12 points each. 12 points of health of health each. Okay. Is it uh, my go? Hang on. I'm So no, you're surprised by this. So oh, the spiders oh. have the initiative. Oh my god. Okay. So I need to change that to 12. Uh refresh skin. All right. So I'm using Junpeng and Zeramar HP bars for this. And so this spider's going to move over here. I'm going to say this one has the great eye. So they're going to surround right. you. Oh, dear. Uh, this one is going to attack you for one damage. Uh, 13. So you take one damage. And this one is going to use the great eye. Oh, no. Uh, well, I don't know why I keep using the... I don't know why I keep rolling to use the great eye. Um, <laughs> alright, we're gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> he fails miserably. He well. takes one damage, he takes one damage, and takes control of his brother's weapons. Wow. So his brother is going to attack him next turn. Oh dear. Uh... Okay. You may now Excellent. take your turn. Um, I move. Okay, you can only use one move, bear in mind, because your adrenaline wore off. Or one action. You can move and then action. Right. And then... Yep. I roundhouse kick that spider into okay, the Okay, you don't really want to keep roundhouse kicking, because that's just a, me a basic melee attack and does one damage. Okay, fine. I stab that spider, because his face is terrible. Alright, roll. Oh dear. Uh, uh, ten. Okay. Well. Ten. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say that's good. You do three damage and restore one. All right. So now the spiders are gonna move. Uh, this guy is going to move over here, but because he was hacked by his brethren, uh, he's going to attack his brother for one hit point. Which is a lot when you only have 12. Uh, and his brother is again going to use the Great Eye. I need to put some sort of limit on this. Where's my dice? There's my dice. His brother's going to use the Great Eye. I don't need to roll yet. And he's going to use uh, Medbots. He releases a groove of nanobots to restore target's energy. His mount is determined by the dice roll. So he's going to roll to restore his own energy. And he restores <laughs> none. <laughs> he restores no health. And loses three. And he loses three. Excellent. So he has, like, what, five now? Yeah, he's got something like five now. Okay. Um, and you know what? Let me, let me read the Great Eye's description here. Uh, the Great Eye. Uh, if for any reason you are unable to use this ability... So he used the ability... He didn't have anything preventing him from using it. He just failed. In the, He screwed it up. So that's not going to destroy the Great Eye. Okay. Uh, it is now your turn. Hmm. Um, I stabbed that nasty spider. Which one? That, uh, oh, wait, no. You might want to uh, focus. No. I'm not going to give you hints. Why would I do that? I get behind that stupid spider. Yep. And stab him in his stupid spider back. Okay, that's my dice. Use yours. Come on With... now. You see, you rolled a one. No. <laughs> With my sword. Peasants can't use the DM dice. Otherwise, it'll... And, uh... oh. Oh. Natural 20. Okay. Oh. You deal... That spider is now dead. Awesome. Uh... You restore three hit points. 
<laughs> most excellent. And most excellent. No, I don't want any more spiders. <laughs> that spider. Oh God. Why? He's, because you rolled a twenty, it's just going to create one smaller spider over here, and okay. he's going to die the moment you hit him. Wow. Yeah. And now it's this spider's turn. Yep. Uh, he moves. He moves over to here. Oh, dear. And as his action uh, picks up the great eye. So I'm going to roll, see if he can pick it up. <laughs> uh, he does. He picks up oh. the great eye. Oh, that great. That spider now has the great eye. Oh, excellent. Okay. Uh, your turn. Or, no, this guy's going to attack. He is going to hide behind his brother. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I going to move here. And, um, yeah, roundhouse kick that you don't, spider. What have I told you about roundhouse kicking? Into the spider behind it. Okay. Hopefully. And squish it. Two. Uh, no. Okay. No. Um, you go to <laughs> no. kick the spider, but as I you miss. kick him, he sort of nibbles on your leg a bit. Uh, you take one, you take one damage. Oh my god. I should stop trying to kick. Yeah, you you really don't want a roundhouse kick, because I'm not going to let that actually do anything. That's just you <laughs> kicking him. Yeah. Unless you have an ability called Roundhouse Kick, which, by the way, now I gotta add that. Thanks a lot. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you you want to use your Siphon Blade, if anything. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. So it is now, uh, the Eye Spider's turn. Oh no. So he's gonna use the Great Eye. I hope he kills himself. And he's gonna use. Um, that's an interrupt, so he can't use that. So it blows up. No, that shouldn't be in there. Uh, but it blows up. No, that shouldn't have been in the deck in the first place, and I thought I took that out. Oh. So he's going to use Depressurize. Uh. All right, this is a fun one. Uh, saved objects, hyperlight tiles, uh, hyperlight, no oxygen. Oh. So, he's going to roll. Oh, good. Please be a one. He rolls a one! <laughs> and he, does he kill All right. himself? I he hope he kills himself. Kills! He knocks his brother back wow. into this wall and drains the oxygen from the space he was standing in. The strained oxygen tile will last for one turn. Oh, what? Hmm. And then it'll refill. Uh, what happens if I, like, kick someone into that tile? Um, they will take one damage at the end of their turn, but because you don't have a knockback ability, you can't. Um, Fine. Um, right, he is going to use the eye. Gravity wave! All right. Um, he is going to throw you one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. He's going to throw you five spaces. Well, don't, doesn't he have to roll to see if it even works? Yeah, I know. I, he's going to try and throw you five spaces. And then he's going to... Nineteen! Well, okay. Wait, wait. Hold your horses. Now here's the thing, this also oh, kills him. To navigate proper. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's that's. So sad. you're now in the river. What? He is passed out. <laughs> Why you do this? Um, Why I'm gonna you say combat is over. Okay. Uh, you are now floating down the river. You've been pushed into the bridge. Uh, um, would you like to do anything? would like to climb onto the bridge. <laughs> All right, roll. Let's see if I climb onto the bridge. Drown terribly. Oh my god. <laughs> One. Okay. You try to climb onto the bridge, but you fail horribly. You take one damage, and you slide under the bridge, and you are stopped by some rocks. There is a metal wall to one side of you, and a shoreline to the other side, but it's a bit further away, and you might have to swim. And you're slowly starting to slip through the rocks, 
and beyond the rocks, all you can see is a very dangerous-looking waterfall. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> okay, this is this is great. Um, all right. Now, of course, bearing in mind, you're not quite sure if that spider you killed was the giant spider you came to dispatch. Oh. Um. Oh. Yeah. Good. So. Fun times. Mm. Um. Uh, in. Hang on. What? <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you doing? Uh, in the distance, you see a campfire and a very dark cavernous area from oh. which you hear a very faint clicking, almost ah. like a snoring sound. Uh -oh. uh, next to you, you see a small rock. About this, basically the same kind of rock that you broke down earlier. I'm gonna go over by this fire mm -hmm. and uh, have a sleep. All right, uh, you your health has been restored to full. Where's my, where's my die, man? <laughs> oh, it's in the fog. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna go get a drink. The camera's running, by the way. Oh. Tasty. Okay, so mm. what? I, excuse me. I crossed the river. <laughs> you did no. See, I got the nineteen. You can't cross the river. I okay. got a nineteen. One... <laughs> okay, one second. Oh, you just moved it. Okay. Yeah. So there's a rock in the way. Uh, so I'm guessing you want to try and break the rock down. I mean. Why not? Okay. So, abilities out of combat, I'm going to generally have not use energy if they're just like a one-point thing. Okay. So, gonna... But if they could lead into combat, then I'm going to have them. All right, you roll a 17 yeah. on your acid. Yep. Uh, the boulder breaks. Yay. Uh, there's a few shards of dust and the, like some some specks of dust and a few shards of rock on the ground. Oh. Um... So you you approach the river. Is there anything special about them? No. Okay. Uh, no, they're just they're just rocks. Pick them up. All right. Uh, uh, clack them together. Maybe be here. Okay. So you approach the river. Really strong currents. Mm. Bear that in mind. Hmm. Uh, sweeping back to the bridge you were just on. Hmm. So you can roll to see how well you swim. We already know you're not very good at grabbing onto bridges. <laughs> Uh, so, you can try to swim across the river. Give me a swim roll. It's in the fog, and it hit a tile. But I think you should know... You can re-roll, but I think you should know it hit a 1. So try and roll the other way. Uh, 14. Okay. okay. You're all right at swimming, but you don't quite get out of the river. So, you're going to have to roll to swim across again. This would have been so much easier if you'd gotten teleporter. Uh, oh. six. Mm. You are swept just onto the shoreline. You can try and roll to grab it. Uh, okay. 17. Okay, you are across. You find a treasure, which, let's look here. You find... You could have looted those spiders, by the way. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you find a signator's key. 
which is a small glass pyramid containing a blue gaseous substance. Smashing the pyramid will prevent all characters from using interrupt attacks until the end of combat. Oh. Neat. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay. So, that's that treasure gone. Can um, I go back and loot the spiders? <laughs> uh, no. Wow. Um, I try to swim across again. All right. Please. Oh, natural I've... twenty. Okay, you are I... across on the other side, I and leap you across. you picked up some of those rock shards and you threw them in the river, and you've created sort of a natural dam, so you can safely walk across now. <laughs> Helpful. <laughs> That's what happens if you roll twenties, man. <laughs> If you'd pushed the rock out of the way, you could have just put it in the middle of the bridge and made a step in the middle of the river and made a stepping stone. What? But... What? I have an item, by the way. It's uh, Dogon's sixth eye. If you look into it, it'll sort of remind you of all the mistakes you've made. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to try and incorporate that. So uh, you hear a sort of a clicking noise coming from the cave still. It's a little louder la now, like it's woken up. Uh, um, click back. You click back. Okay, we've already established you can't speak the language. Oh. You really can't speak the language. <laughs> um, you thought you picked up a little from the spiders, but it turns out that they were not very smart. So they were saying the equivalent of racist slurs against wow. the mantis. That's so great. the spider has identified you. The spider knows that you are the mantis. Oh. Or, uh, Sorry, uh, whatever it is clicking in there has identified you as a mantis. Oh. Good. And, uh... It's gonna... Well, let's just say, uh, the fog lifts. Ah. <laughs> uh, the cave <laughs> has become illuminated <sighs> with a large amount of fire. It seems that this spider has mastered uh, the art of ignition and mm. uh, combustion. So this is mm. a very smart spider. So this mm. spider mm -hmm. um, is not actually a giant alien spider. Uh, it is a genetically modified giant alien spider. So this has... Uh, let me import my deck. Oh, good. Uh, ability cards and race cards. Mm-hmm. Where are the race cards? There they are. Oh, right. Ability cards. And race cards. Come on. Thank you. Do you have spider ability cards? I really I do. I don't. Okay. But like I said, it's a genetically modified. Yeah. So... <sighs> oh, dear. There it is. So it has oh. the multitasker ability. Oh, why? Which means that it uh, essentially has your adrenaline. It can use two basic attacks per turn instead of moving. As long as it has one or more weapon in its inventory. And it is carrying hyperlight mm -hmm. items. It's carrying two hockey sticks. Because those are the only items I have. <laughs> 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 okay. So these will deal two damage. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how much health it has. Uh, so let me just modify you that. You know, I really bet it has 69 health. It doesn't. Don't worry. Okay. 690. Right. What? Uh, okay. What are so, these thingies over here? Oh, that's uh, scrap. That's, that's debris. Oh. Yeah. I uh, I run down that way. <laughs> Uh, actually, you can't. Combat has started. Oh you may God. move a maximum of seven spaces per turn now. Oh, good. Um, um, but okay. first, let me just uh, refresh skin and refresh skin. All right. Junpeg is going to be the big spider boss. And I'm going to give it three random abilities because it is a hybrid. It's going to have uh, Power Siphon. Oh, good. Um... Ricochet, mm. <laughs> and Barrier, mm. which it can't really use very well unless it's for itself, but that wouldn't do anything. So you're lucky it has a useless ability. Oh, good. Uh, also, 
Uh, it has the great eye. Why? Uh, you, you remember uh, trying going back and uh, looking at the um, at the spider corpse, but you couldn't find the great eye that was on them. Oh. Uh, this must be what happened to it. <laughs> How? So it has the same great eye. Oh. Good. Great. Yep. Um, and what else can I give it? Just to make it a little more overpowered. I'm going to give it an Orb of the Envoy. What? An Orb of the Envoy. Uh. uh when you equip this item... You may choose a single ability. Said ability will have its energy cost completely negated. Oh, good. And it's going to negate Power Siphon. Oh. Mm. So it's going to be able to deal four damage to you and restore four health in one go. Oh. Normally it would only restore one. Oh. It's basically a slightly powered up Siphon Blade now. And I'm going to be generous... And say, because you just woke this thing up, it's a little groggy, you have the initiative. Okay. Attack first. Um, uh, 14. Okay, it moves out of the Toxin Cloud. Uh, and it is going to use the Great Eye. Oh, good. Vacuum Weld. Um, yeah. I don't think it can use that. Really? No, it can. Um, oh. Now, because it's not a Lanius, it can't break the weld. Oh, dear. Uh, you are now... I'm going to roll. You got to hope this is... Okay! You're good. This thing welds its own hind leg to the floor. It takes one damage. Wow, that's pretty embarrassing. So what I was going to do, I was going to weld you to the floor. Yeah. I and because you're not Atlantis, you're going to have a hard time breaking the weld. You have to, like, bite your own leg off. Uh, how's my health doing? You're not great. Is it still in the yellow? It, yeah. Okay. Optimally, I would have it so you could see these health bars, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to use acid again. Okay. Uh, 19. All right, you take one damage. This thing takes three. And do it again. Uh, four. four. Mm. Um, it's going to take two damage. It's going to take half damage. You're going to take one. But you also spat acid at the part of the floor that its leg was welded to, so it can now move again. I do not think so. Yeah. No. That was no. a four. I think it's going to use the great eye. Just because it... The great eye is so fun, let me tell you. Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh. It can't do that. Ooh. Because you're not in melee range. The great eye has been destroyed. Oh, dear. It can no longer use the great eye. Oh, uh, does it not damage it? I think it should. No, it doesn't. Uh, you have... Uh, it has failed its turn. You can now take yours. Wow. Well. Uh, I'm going to move your dice over here. Acid. Okay. It's your low. Uh, 11. Yes, that hits. Um, this thing falls over. It collapses. It has passed out. What? It's got several holes in its leg. Oh it's, dear. It's not good. It's not good. It has fallen over flat. And because that was the queen spider, it's not going to split because it had the hybrid ability. Oh. So, uh, yeah. It's passed out. Combat has ended. Uh, go up. And uh, stab it. With the in the face. Bolt. Come on. Okay. Uh, 14. All right. You stab it in the face. And... You're still the full. You were down to maybe three hit points, by the way. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. So, you have defeated the Spider Queen. <laughs> uh, 
due to the lack of ontological inertia, all the fire has gone out. All right. And the your toxin cloud has faded due to combat being over. Collapses in a little poof. It implodes. And it crumples into dust. Uh, the, it has no loot? Okay, you can you can search the body. You search wanna give body. me a roll to search the body. What? Yeah. That's how you loot. Thirteen. Um you find um, a you find an orb of the envoy. Oh. Uh, so pick an ability, and that ability will no longer cost energy to use. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Acid no longer costs energy to use. <laughs> no sticks, Link. And just for the hell of it, let's do one more encounter. Uh, the Engi approaches from from the bridge. Uh, you can see he's sort of he's carrying a little tiny pile of debris. Uh, that's probably his lunch. And he approaches. He sees the wreckage from the spider corpse, and he just sort of uh, f falls to the ground and starts weeping. Oh. Uh, that spider was his pet. Uh. Uh, it was domesticated. Mm. Mm -hmm. But because it heard you shouting racial slurs, uh, <laughs> it became angry with you. Ah. Uh. So, also because you killed its children. Uh, well, they had um, it So, uh, this is good. How do you want to go about this while I assemble this guy's deck? Uh. Hmm. You don't necessarily have to attack him. Got a really smart idea. Yep. Alright, so he's going to have... Um, I'm going to walk up to him. Okay, that and that. Uh, and try to explain things. Okay, you're going to try to explain the situation. Give me a diplomacy roll. Oh, oh. Uh, six. You sort of, mm. you sort of stutter a little when you're trying to explain. Mm. Uh, he hears you, but he's still kind of angry that mm. you killed okay. his pet spider. Well, uh, he sort he looks you in the face and said, "You, you killed my pet spider, Mister." He, he sort of sniffles, uh, a little oil teardrop. Wow. Uh, um. Well, and he says, you, you oh. owe me a pet spider, mister. One that can fetch. <laughs> and, uh, wow. Well, uh, he, then... He, he, tur he, tur he sort of turns his back on you and um, wow. he crunches on a little bit of uh, the, the debris. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well... Um, I uh, I pop an adrenaline and blindside him with a slice. <laughs> okay, to the, combat has started. With a slice to the back. <laughs> okay, combat has started. Yeah. Uh, this guy's just gonna be your standard run of the mill Engi. Roll for the adrenaline. All right. Uh, that's a, that's. That's a, a nineteen. Okay, I think I'm pretty pumped. Nineteen. All right. And combat roll. Combat has started. For the slice to the back, <laughs> the backstab. All right, eight. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, you do three damage and restore one. Of course, he is enraged by this because he was already fairly emotionally unstable because he just lost his beloved pet. And oh, now dear. some strange bug man has oh. walked into his home, killed yeah. his pet, yeah. uh, shouted racial slurs that just echoed through the cave... His seven-year-old child was in the other room. She oh. heard all of those. Oh, dear. So, you know, every time she looks at a mantis now, she's just going to call them a big slimy bugger. Oh, no. Uh, 
So that's obviously not very good for social standings. It's not. And on top of that, you've just tried to blind blindside him I mean, with I did. a um a siphon blade. Okay. <laughs> which really isn't was nice. not fun. Oh. So what he's gonna do? Uh huh. Um. Let's see, what kind of treasure card do I want to give him? i got to give him a treasure, at least one treasure. Oh, what? Um, he's going to have a Stellar Visage. Oh. Because he is an Engi. Uh, th- this isn't Stelly, by the way. His name is Ohm. Oh. Uh, now, of course, a Stellar Visage isn't actually very useful. It just increases his maximum health by 5, so we're going to say he normally had 20 health. Ah. So he has 25 now, same as you. Um, so he has 22 now. No, 20, yeah, he has 22 health, basically. And uh, he can also breathe out in oxygenless environments, but that's not very oh. useful. If you push <laughs> him in the river, it might be useful. Mm. Because Engi are notorious for being bad swimmers because they're made entirely of metal. Yeah. Uh, and he is going to... Uh, Gravity wave you. Oh, what's that do? Uh, he rolls a 14. So he is going to throw you back. Uh. Over to here. Mm-hmm. And in doing so. that That's uh, more than five spaces. Uh, no, he, he can throw you back ten. Oh. Oh, and nice. you take uh, three damage. Oh, good. But so does he. And of course, what did I say was back there? <sighs> uh, you bump into a spider. Oh. Now this is just this spider has one health. Oh. But he also does one damage. Uh, so. <laughs> Now you're fighting a spider and Ohm, and you've been blasted into a wall. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Is it my turn? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, the spider uh, is surprised, so he doesn't get to attack uh, yet. Stab him in the face. The spider? Yep. Okay. Uh, spider dies. Uh, yeah. You restore one point. Uh, we're here. And you want to use your... Hit an acid. You're going to hit him with an acid. Yeah. Okay, now bear in mind, combat ended, so your acid damage is reset and now only does one. So you oh, use a right. free acid, he yep. takes one damage. Okay. Uh, he is going to respond... Oh. By... Does he have a spider whistle? Oh, please don't. No, he doesn't have a spider whistle. Okay. He's going to respond by summoning a combat drone. And he tells this oh. combat drone, Kill the Mantis. Oh. Uh, this combat drone has... I don't know. Uh, we'll say this combat drone can take three hits from you. He has nine health. So... This combat drone is going to move up to here. Oh, good. Well, I uh, stab him in the face. All right, you stab the drone in the face. You miss. Uh, you accidentally drop your sword. Oh my no. god. Uh, you miss. You accidentally drop the sword. Uh, the hilt hits the drone. And the blade sort of hits you in the arm. Uh, the drone restores three health. And what were you rolling that you got the twenty? How does it restore three? <laughs> Not How about three. One? The the drone restores one health, right? Okay, that you that's take for... you take three. Yeah, that's for an acid on the drone because I'm done with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you roll a twenty on the acid on the drone. The drone shuts down. Yeah. Okay. It's just got a huge hole burned through the center. I don't think you can salvage anything from this drone right now. Okay. I, I didn't want to. I, 
I pick up my sword. And you get an extra action because the drone has deactivated. I run over here. What? No. Yep. And Combat I, is over, by the way. I don't care. I take my feet. <laughs> and I just, like, kick the dickens out of this fool. <laughs> so you're kicking the dickens out of Ohm. Multiple, multiple times. Okay. Um, you miss. And you stub your toe. <laughs> And then you send Ohm flying. He is now over here. <laughs> His faceplate is cracked. I go over here. Mm -hmm. And I, I, like, kick him into the wall. Into the wall. Okay. Yep. Uh, he just start, he starts cracking. Oh, just dear. all over. Remember, um, he's got a wife and kids. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I go I go get them. <laughs> Those are the spiders. Ohm lives over here. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I, I pick up his lunch. <laughs> you pick up his lunch. <laughs> oh, and I carry him with me? You carry Ohm with you. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to do a secret roll. Yep. Secret roll. Okay. Uh, okay. And in fact... What? Oh no. Uh, eh? <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh dear. Am I at full health? Uh, no. You have not restored health. You Can I go to sleep? You're sort of at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you fall asleep where you're standing. No, that's a bad idea. <laughs> How yes, health, it is. How much health do I have? You're at about half. Uh, that'll do. Um, is this is like, can I salvage his lunch? Um, you look through his lunch, you find a um, you find a business card that says "neat" on the front, and. <laughs> A carton of eggs. All right. Um, <laughs> One dozen ostrich eggs. Do, do I ha do I have them now? Yes, you I have, have those in your inventory. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I loot Ohm? Uh, pff, give me a roll. All right. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, uh, you find. A You're not going to find a stellar visage because that would literally just rip his head off. So, <laughs> um, you're going to find a Vakan's elixir. Oh. You could take an extra action on your turn for 3 turns, but you have to roll to make sure you don't forget that. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay. Neat. Uh, and Ohm's I, lunch uh, is gone. For John I Are guess still I'll carrying get, like, home? like here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can uh, the as family you approach, see me now? You see yeah. Ohm's family. Uh, you see his wife Amp. Uh, <laughs> his daughter Voltet and their newborn son uh, Watt. <laughs> uh. <laughs> These are all units of electrical measurement. If you can't I, tell, I I could tell. Uh, <laughs> They look very distraught. They see you carrying Ohm. He's sort of cracked. He's got acid burns all over his body. They were worried sick about him. <laughs> and they see you just dragging his uh, deactivated husk. He's sort of passed out. They see you dragging him with you. Just sort of a disheveled mantis dragging their father slash husband. And they are uh, amp breaks out in tears oh dear yeah <laughs> well i look them dead in the eye and right? uh covers up voltet's eyes oh dear <laughs> well I, I look her dead in the face right <laughs> see and I, I pick up ohm's like shattered husk uh -huh. right? he's, I, he's still alive bear in mind yeah and i i dump him in the river <laughs> in the river 
Okay. Now, yeah. because he has the stellar visage, this he's going to be able to breathe perfectly fine. Yeah, but he, he won't be able to heal himself. He's, like, dead. Okay, Hopefully. I'm going to give a roll. 17. Okay, Ohm wakes up! <laughs> but he's underwater. He has the stellar visage! It doesn't matter! Yeah, but he, he can breathe, breathe underwater! Yeah, but he's just there. Yeah, he's flowing down the river. He's panicking, but he's awake. Okay. He's screaming, Help! That mantis tried to kill me. He killed our pet spider and their children. Yeah. And he killed Philippe, the robot that, uh. you know, has been a staple fixture in our daughter's life since she was a month old. Uh, he's a monster. He, he, shout, he shouts this as he's being swept down downriver. Um, he's going to roll to try and grab onto a jagged outcropping. Oh, uh, he grabs on perfectly. He's holding on. He's sort of pulling himself back towards you. Um, combat has started. <laughs> <laughs> How much health does he okay. not have? Um, he is... <laughs> I think he has like one. He has four health. Four. Okay, great. But he's hugging the wall, so he's going to be harder to hit. Well. And... Amp moves in. Oh, and why? Amp, because you tried to kill her husband. I mean, I know. Uh, Amp moves in. Amp is going to gravity wave you. What? Amp has, like, powers? Yeah, they, they, all, they all have the same abilities. Okay, that roll off a card. I need to re-roll that. Oh my god. Seven. Okay. And it it uh, hits her husband and he dies. No. Uh, Please. That would be a one. No, uh, you get knocked one. back oh, one space. Seven no repercussions. Five. Now, you might be wondering why all of these characters have these abilities. It's because they're Angie. Yeah. They have Assimilate. Anytime an oh. ally is killed, they take one of their class abilities. Oh. So, because you killed Ohm, they each took one of his class abilities. I walk up to Ohm. Yes. I look at his face. <laughs> uh-huh. You can sort of see Ohm. He's kind of blinking behind the faceplate. I He's... kick his face. <laughs> Whatever. You crack the screen, but not much else. Kick it again. You. The screen has been completely cracked in. Kick it again. Uh, you. <laughs> you feel your claw impact uh, circuitry, and you get a little electric shock. You take one oh, damage. Dear. What? There's gonna Why be a penalty you do for this? kicking in an Angie's faceplate. Okay. <laughs> Why you do this? Well. And then I loot Ohm, because why not? Alright. Um, 11. You find... A... Can of Pringles. <laughs> <sighs> There's, he doesn't have anything else on him! When I get the actual oh. loot randomizer... You know, if you'd roll a 20... I would have had you rip his head off and put on the stellar visage. <laughs> Let me just say that. <laughs> um, okay. Now what? <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> now I loot the drone. <laughs> okay, give me a roll. Fifteen. You find a. Uh, <laughs> you find <laughs> a tub of spinach dip. Oh. Of Racco's cabbage, and mm. a pike beam. Oh. What's a pike beam do? Uh, a pike beam fires a piercing beam that deals five damage in a line. So, for example, if you had combat drones standing like that, yeah. you fired a pike beam at them, it would hit all of them for five damage. Hmm. So you found a pike beam. It has ten range. Oh dear. Uh, I'm gonna have a sleep. Okay. Uh, your health... Uh, give me a roll for sleep. What? Yeah. Damage myself in my sleep. 
Uh, ten. You sleep a little longer than you expected. Uh, oops, that's not the right one. This one. Uh, you go to sleep. You sleep a little longer than expected. You awaken to find Ohm's family and their combat drone, which has been reactivated, uh, surrounding you. Uh, <laughs> Why is Ohm alive? Medbots, remember? I killed him. <laughs> no, you kicked his faceplate in. You you lobotomized him is what you did. I looted his body. <laughs> yeah, and you found a can of Pringles. It connotates death. You could... You essentially pickpocketed no. him. The, 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 the act of loot... <laughs> you can loot someone while they're unconscious, man. Uh, uh, you have one I'll give you two actions before combat starts bearing in mind that they all look angry they all look to be about full health and uh, you can't find your pike beam why you do this <laughs> Because I didn't have an adventure written out. I'm ab-living all of this. But Ohm was dead. He was unconscious. It's... He's half-blinded. He's schizophrenic. He's sociopathic. And he's been lobotomized. He's gonna attack everyone. I commit suicide. <laughs> Give me a roll. What are you doing to commit suicide? I... What are you using? Are you using your sword? I am using acid on my insides. Okay. <laughs> you use acid on your insides. Oh, wow. You roll. A two. You fail. You're still alive. You get one more action. You can try again. Just not acid. You take one damage. I'm going to overdose on adrenaline. <laughs> that... And, like, become the okay. Hulk. Um, I don't know, and go crazy and kill myself. You... Basically. You do a normal adrenaline. <sighs> Great. Oh, wait, you don't take damage from that. So never mind. Okay, you do a normal adrenaline. Uh, yeah. <laughs> combat has started. Oh, dear. <laughs> well. Uh, Ohm is going to gravity wave you. Well, don't I get another thing now? No, those were your two actions. Well, I get. I gave you I two actions before combat started. They had the initiative because you're still groggy. Uh -huh. Ohm is going to gravity wave. Uh, so gravity wave can do a a uh, two by two area. Mm -hmm. Ohm's going to gravity wave. Uh, Ohm's going to gravity wave here. Everyone in this area takes five damage. Oh dear. You've taken five damage. But you're not pinned. Should be fine. I try again to kill myself <laughs> with acid. <laughs> you realize if you kill yourself, you're going to have to roll a different character for the next thing, right? What? Yeah. No, no, no. Because El Nub Nub dies. <laughs> no. And you also realize... See, he just passes out. No. If you're trying to melt your insides, uh, no. Uh, you take... Yeah, but he can regrow. He's an insect. No, he can't. Do. If you were an Engi, I'd give you that. Uh, you take one damage. Oh, and by the way, because you nearly killed, um, what's-his-face? What's-his-face? Uh, his... Yeah, because you nearly killed Ohm, his family members yeah. are going to get another of his abilities. They all have Gravity Wave, and now Amp has Medbots. Jump into the river. Can you move that? Swim far? away, never to be seen again. Okay, you jump into the river. Uh, you uh, give me a swim roll. No, you're not trying to swim, are you? Uh, I'm you. Maybe. Let's see. Seventeen. Okay, you're swimming. Where do you want to go? 
Uh, Anywhere up and down the river. Yep, down the river. Okay. Uh, where down the river? Here? Up to the bridge? Down the river. Down the river. So, like here? Down the river. It's as far down as you can go. Okay. You wash up on the shore. Now, because I'm a benevolent god, here's what I'm going to do. Just because I want to give El Nub Nub a chance. <laughs> so, what were you rolling for? Uh, swimming. Well, you, you already swam, and you, you've washed up on no, I I was just moving it. Oh. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to do this. Because I'm benevolent. Uh, you now have a copy of the teleporter ability. You can teleport up to ten spaces away. Uh, since you have left, you are now out of combat. But that also means that your toxin cloud collapses. Everyone inside takes one damage. I'm trying to tell you to teleport back to your ship and fly away. Yeah. I mean... Okay. Now I'm here. Okay, you're over here. Uh, <laughs> as you approach the ship, you see Ohm... That's not Ohm. You see Ohm rounding the corner, charging up a... Uh, he is holding your pike beam... Oh. Oh dear. Um fires the pike beam. Seventeen. Uh, you take five damage. Hmm. And he also busts a slight hole through one of your ship's bulkheads. It's nothing critical. It should still be space worthy. Just bear that in mind. Okay, I leave. Okay. Do we need a roll for leaving? Uh, roll to see if you are able to hit the do close door button. Ten. Okay, the door so. begins closing. Oh no. I'm just gonna... Secret roll. Uh, no. Ohm runs the door, but it closes too fast. Uh, his arm gets caught in the door frame and just sort of slightly... It crushes his arm. His arm falls off. And oh. uh, you now have a lifeless Engi arm on your ship. Mm-hmm. Um, as well as your pike beam back. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. You have successfully escaped, escaped Ohm's planet. You have been Yay. full health. Uh, Ohm takes three damage. And, uh... You have probably destroyed a family forever. Well, you see, now what I do... Uh-huh. Is I'm in space. And bearing in mind this is a Federation bomber... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, um... I bomb them, and okay. they die. Give me a roll to bomb them. Okay. 18. Uh, Ohm's family is dead. They have died. Yay. <laughs> you have successfully torn apart an innocent Engi family, killed their pet, murdered an innocent child. Yep. Uh, and the best part is, this is all in character for a mantis. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you have escaped. Uh, your scouting mission is complete. Is, uh, do you have any parting actions? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> if you try to kill yourself again. <laughs> Wait, right. if I die, will I never get to use this character again? Um. If you. 
if your character dies, you will have to re-roll. Uh, now, it could essentially just be the same character, but it couldn't be El Nub Nub. Oh. Oh dear, um, no, I, I fly away. Okay, you fly away. And then, in the but bottom right But you would corner... find, like, a special El Nub Nub's pike beam on your next adventure. It would no. be entirely possible. It was cursed. <laughs> um, in, in the bottom right corner, as I fly away, it says, See you, space cowboy.